hello everyone let us begin with single random variables let us try to discuss about random variables we define a random variable as a function that maps outcome to real value let us take an example i have a coin i am going to toss this coin when i toss this coin i am going to get two outcomes so, so i can define the sample state as a set of head and tail now if i assign 1 to head and 0 to tail then i can put this as 1 comma 0 so random variable is a function that assigns a real number called observation to each outcome in the sample space. It is denoted as x of a is equal to x a. It is a single random variable because it is producing only one observation. So fx is a collection of all real numbers that result from the outcome in f or I can call fx is a subset of f and it is also known as even space and this fx for this example if I want to observe only head being tossed up then set 1 is called as fx another example is rolling a dice so roll, when I roll a dice there are six possible outcomes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And if the favorable outcome or favorable observation I need to make is only even outcome, then we define the event space as fx equal to 2, 4, 6. Let us take another example. A two coin toss example. In this example, we see that whenever we toss a coin twice, uh, we are going to get four outcomes. So therefore, the sample space S is defined as S H, X T, C S, and C T. Here, X is mapped to two, X T and C S are mapped to one, and C T is mapped to D. So random variable function x can be defined as 0, 1, 2 and you should remember that this function should be always represented in capital letters only. Let us illustrate the random variable pictorially. Let us be the sample space where we have three outcomes a, b, c and if you observe here if A is mapped to X A, B and T, uh, both of them are mapped to a single real number, X B, on the line X. X A, X B, X C, X B are the values on the line X. And X is the event space. And an event A in the sample space S is mapped into set of real number x a very important observation is a random variable function x can be daily to 1 if you observe here i have two mm -hmm. outcomes and it is mapped to a single variable real variable x b. so therefore we call it as many to 1 let us take two practical examples in the case of electronics and communication engineering. The nozzles NT in a communication link are the elements of transit space S. The measured average power of each N of T is a real number and is an observation in the SS. Similarly, transistors in a particular group or type are the elements in a sample space. The measured switching speed at which each transistor can operate is an observation in 
acids. There are three types of random variables. First one is called as discrete random variable. In discrete random variable, outcomes can be counted. So these variables are representing outcomes that can be counted. Uh, for example, tossing of a coin, rolling of a dice, continuous random variables. In this case, outcomes cannot be counted. For example, temperature over a period, over a day. When we want to measure a temperature over a day, uh, it continuously varies, changes. Uh, so therefore, it is not countable quantity. Mixed random variables. Uh, this random variable contains pieces of both uh, continuous as well as discrete random variables. For example, when you go to submit your assignment to a teacher and if there are no students uh, submitting the assignment, then there is no cue so it's equal to zero to submit your assignment and come back. And it is discrete in nature. But in case if there are two, three students in front of the lecturer waiting to submit the assignment, then you have to stand in the queue and you have to wait for your turn to submit the assignment. And it is continuous in nature. Discrete random variable. A discrete random variable is a variable which can only take a countable number of values. Let us take an example where we toss the coin three times. When we toss the coin three times, there are eight possible outcomes. So sample space has eight uh, values. One is tail, tail, tail. Tail, head, head. Head, tail, tail. Head, tail, head. Tail, head, tail. Head, head, tail. tail, head, tail. Tail, tail, head, 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 head. These are the values, outcomes in the sample space. F. So, we will map it to real numbers. If all of them are tail, all three times you observe only tail, then we will map it to three. All three times if you observe head, then we will map it to three. And if there are two tails and one head, we'll map it to one. If there are two heads and one tail, we'll map it to two. So random variable function has here, if you observe, it has three values, uh, sorry, four values. And the set of, you can say that zero, one, two, three. So let us form the table. The number of heads, if there is only one zero head, that means all of them in this case is tail, tail, tail. This case, tail, tail, tail. Then we have got only one D map. So it is one divided by eight. Out of the eight possible outcomes, only one case we can get. Second one is number of heads, uh, there are only one head, that is in this case these three quantities, tail, tail, head, head, tail, 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 head, tail. So three possible outcomes are there, so therefore we get here 3 by 8. So next case is number of heads being 2. So that is this case where we can observe uh, head, head, uh, here also head, head, here is head, head. So you can get three outcomes here. So therefore, we have got three out of eight outcomes. Uh, we have two heads being picked up. Then, lastly, we have head, head, head. All three uh, cases, we have the head being filled up. So in that case, we can say here it is mapped only once. So therefore, we get 1 by 8. So, this is the table we have got. 
that the probability and the observation what you have to make here is very important observation is if i add up all these values now the probability value 1 by 8 plus 3 by 8 plus 3 by 8 plus 1 by 8 results in 8 by 8 is equal to 1 so this is a very important observation uh, the variable is said to be random in the sum of the probability is equal to 1 Thank you. In the next video, we will study more on probability as well as probability mass function.